In today's video, I'm not gonna be drawing on a piece of paper. I'm gonna be drawing on this huge Threadbeast mystery box. Threadbeast is a clothing supplier and I can't open this until I customize the cover. This is the sticker and I will not cut it open. Let's get started. What am I gonna do on this box? Well, there's a lot of things trending like Deadpool, Wolverine, Moana, but I decided to go the OG route and do some Pokemon. If you are a Pokemon fan, let me know in the comments down below. And I bet you guys have no idea who I'm drawing right now. Just kidding, I bet you every single person in the comments is gonna be like, I know exactly who this guy is. Because it's easy, it's Mewtwo. I decided to draw Mewtwo and Mew on today's box. Cause you can't just have Mewtwo, you have to have Mew. I did a mean, angry looking Mewtwo and a cute Mew. I think they both are gonna turn out wonderful. Now it's time to get the gesso and get to work. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Gesso is pretty much just primer. Basically just giving myself a white canvas so I'm not coloring on black. I am a huge Pokemon fan, but I'm talking like the old generations before black and white. So let me know in the comments down below, what is your favorite generation and your favorite Pokemon of all time? Mine's easy. My favorite Pokemon's Mudkip. And if I was to choose a legendary, my favorite legendary would be Rayquaza or Lugia. If I had to choose a mythical, it would definitely have to be Celebi. Those are my three favorite Pokemons. My favorite games were Emerald, Ruby, and Sapphire. Not a lot of people know I liked Pokemon. I'm gonna need you all to comment on what I should do on the next Threadbeast mystery box. It can be anything. If you are wanting to see Goku and Vegeta fighting, or maybe Rick and Morty going through his portal, whatever it is you want, just let me know. Mewtwo is like a light gray color, so I'm using the lightest gray I have. And then I'm gonna use some darker grays to give it some more features and details. Mewtwo's tail is purple, so I'm gonna use my light purple and I'm gonna start coloring the tail. I can't remember exactly how Mewtwo was made, but I know Mewtwo was made in a lab using Mew's DNA. I'm gonna make Mew this light pink color because it matches like perfectly. Mew has bright blue eyes, but I'm gonna give it some highlights in the eyes to make it pop a little more. Now I'm gonna go in with the darker grays, add some fine details and some shadows. If you guys are wanting your own Threadbeast box, use code NICHOLAS25 to get $25 off your first Threadbeast box. Threadbeast is a mystery clothes supplier. They have tons of personal stylists that will make you a box that fits your needs. They have different looks from classic to vintage. Just go to www.threadbeast.com, customize your profile, get whatever size box you want, and at checkout, use code NICHOLAS25 to get $25 off your first box. Threadbeast is great because I don't have to go to the mall anymore to go shopping. My personal stylist is sending me the best clothes. Now I can look good while going out and I didn't have to waste any time going shopping. I have been getting Threadbeast now for a few months and I love it. If I could rate it a 1 out of 10, I would give it a 9.5. It is that good. Now let's get back into the drawing. I am going in with the purples, adding some lightning coming out of Mewtwo's eyes, giving the tail some more shadows, adding some light glares on Mewtwo, and now I'm going to outline. I know I've said this a million times, but outlining is by far my favorite part of every project. It literally changes the whole drawing when you outline it. Mewtwo was kind of hard to outline. I wonder who would win in a battle. Mewtwo or Mew? No, 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 no. You know what? Who would win in a fight? Lugia or Ho-Oh? Those birds are massive. Way bigger than Articuno, Moltres, and Zapdos. I love the old games. I have been drawing Pokemon since I was probably six or seven years old. It's been a long time now. If you guys are wanting to see more Pokemon art, let me know in the comments as well, because I don't know what you guys want to see. Now that the Threadbeast box is done, let's look inside. But first, we gotta cut it open with some scissors. Wait, 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 I'm not done yet. I need to do the Threadbeast logo. One, two, three. 
I had to go and do a glow effect with the purple and pink to match Mew and Mewtwo. Now, let's open the Threadbeast box. Right now I'm seeing something crazy. I have never gotten underwear in a box before. Crisp underwear? Heck yeah. Oh my goodness, what are these shorts? Oh my goodness, these are swim trunks. I can just tell by feeling them. I am gonna love these for when I go to Arizona. Dang, so far so good, this box is great. Another thing Threadbeast is good for is they always match the seasons you're in. Like they don't give you long sleeves in the middle of summer. Speaking of, they just gave me an atom bomb, short sleeve shirt. I love it, this is great. The Hunnids. I really, really like this shirt, wow. Okay, okay, I see some jeans. I always love jeans. Let's see what brand they are. They are Diamond Supply Co. I personally have never bought Diamond Supply Co. pants, but I do like their shirts and stuff, so this is gonna be neat. All right, what is next? It, it looks like a windbreaker. Um, a white windbreaker. It's definitely a windbreaker, but what is this brand? I honestly have never seen this brand before. Raw gear? Oh my goodness, but the, the windbreaker is so cool. Yeah, I definitely need to look up raw brand because this feels amazing. Feels like a very good quality windbreaker. And for someone who lives in the windy states, this is gonna be very nice. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you later. Bye.